Good afternoon. It has been nearly two weeks since six-year-old Ariana Romeo was found murdered in a Rio Rancho home. Disturbing stories have come out about the homeowner, but with no arrest, neighbors are on edge and want answers. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live in Rio Rancho with police documents that provide some insight into the case. Rebecca. Well, Kim, this is the inventory form, and so all of the evidence taken from inside the home behind me, it could give people in this neighborhood more clues into what happened to Ariana Romeo and who may have killed her. Everybody's kind of concerned. In this once anonymous neighborhood in Rio Rancho, one horrific crime is lurking in the minds of the people who live here. Shock, because uh, uh, it's a really quiet neighborhood, so uh, it, was, it was just shocking. Neighbors like that man don't want to show their face as no arrest has been made. Since six-year-old Ariana Romeo was found murdered and possibly sexually assaulted inside this home on Moonstone Drive, where she and her mom were staying. The homeowner had been accused in the past of molesting a girl who was staying with him. Police have been tight-lipped about details, but it's hard for people not to come up with their own theories. And just the, given those tiny little details, it's so fuzzy. It's, uh, your imagination just kind of cuts loose. And now we've obtained this return and in inventory form of what police took from this home where Romeo was found on a bloody foam mattress in a makeshift bedroom, half naked. Among the items collected, a bloody towel, tissues, a princess pillow, and a Playboy magazine all found near her body. Body, a rope outside by the trash and three pairs of men's underwear. I, I can't believe that, it, uh, that something like that could go down. Although so much evidence was collected, police say they're still working with the medical examiner to determine a cause of death. But one big issue is looming over the neighbors. How do you feel as a resident with no arrest being made? Yeah, that's scary uh, to know that they're still on a loose and possibly super close. Now, Rio Rancho police also say they are waiting on DNA results to come back before they make an arrest. Today, I asked a spokesperson for the department if they plan to possibly get warrants to collect DNA from people that were inside that home. They say it is a possibility.